I'm not exactly some kind of lighthouse biologist, but I'm pretty sure they work using light bulbs and not shiny gems. But that being said, I gotta try something. Yeah, what do I know? <laughs> Seems easy enough to work. I'm not 100% sure what I'm trying to guide, though. Maybe if I go back down to the shore, I can see something that needs light. Also, like, what is it about the people who live in and around lighthouses? Like, what is it about the lighthouse that instantly makes them weird, creepy freaks? I'm sorry? What's up guys, welcome to Deep Sleep, a game that I don't really know that much about, but I've heard a lot of good things, especially from you guys. Like, a lot of you were telling me on the comments of my videos for the Don't Escape games that these were made by the same people, and that it's one of the better Flash games out there. You know, with Flash being discontinued as we speak, I've really wanted to get around to checking out some of the games that are being rescued and remastered and packaged together on Steam. If you gaze long into an abyss, the abyss will interrupt your game's opening quotes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was gonna say the abyss also gazes into you or something along those lines, but it probably didn't matter, okay? Well, we're just gonna get to taking a look around. I've just woken up at 10 to two in the afternoon. Yep, that sounds about right. That is pretty close to home. Also, the game is called Deep Sleep. I don't wanna see people judging me in the comments. You know, like, I'm not exactly in a rush every morning to get up and fetch the key from the key buckets. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's the holidays. I'm not exactly gonna have some fancy pants roll top desk tell me when I can or can't unlock it. And I kind of feel like unlocking it right now, on my time. You see? Just like that, we've already managed to accomplish something. I've retrieved myself a cube with a keyhole. And I may have accidentally Thanos snapped the crap out of my apartment while I was at it. <laughs> I really hope I didn't breathe any of that in. It's not that bad. It's just some spackle paint, a couple of jittery pixels. We'll be able to fix that right up. No one will notice. Unless things are somehow worse <laughs> over here. That's more so what I feel like at about 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't suppose you'd like to come on an adventure? Um... I'm gonna borrow that real quick, okay? I'll bring it back, I, I promise. Just don't go anywhere. So we've got a mystery box. We've got a human arm. We've got a phone call in the distance. By the sounds of it, probably a pissed off landlord. Is the phone in here? I don't think we found the phone. Did I miss the call? Probably for the best, to be honest. What's this? There are big cracks in this wall. And? There's a big crack in my ass, but you don't hear me gloating about it. Of course I wouldn't be so lucky. Well, he called back, so clearly I need to answer this phone. I just need to find it first. Would it be downstairs? Um... This doesn't feel like a good idea, right? Like, this looks like the kind of place where I'm either gonna get stabbed outside my no-no square, or touched inside of it, or maybe both. But I can't hear the phone anymore, and that is the reason why I am not going down there. Not because I'm a giant wuss, but because I need to answer this phone call. I'm sure it's very important and getting louder out here. Okay, can we take a peek? It smells really bad from there. Again, some could say that about my ass, but I'm not trying to gloat. There we go. Hello? Wake up. Excuse me? You have to wake up. I have to wake up? What? You have to wake up. I have to wake up. You have to wake up. I don't think he's going to be much of a conversationalist, but I, I have to wake up. Okay, I'll, I'll be sure to do that. Ooh, I got a flashlight. Okay, a flashlight. It has no batteries. I was about to say that might help with the creepy stairs, but nope, no such luck. All right, maybe we can find some 
batteries. That's locked. Okay, and that's dead. Can I hang up on you? Can you maybe say anything else? It's cold outside. Good to know. Uh, that's all I've got. We now have a flashlight. Oh, I don't want to go down here without a working flashlight. Ooh, oh. It's surprisingly bright down here for what that stairwell leads on. Service! Service, could I, could I maybe get some batteries out here, please? That would really help. Ooh, I'm sure this note gets to you somehow. Well, yeah, I mean, otherwise I wouldn't be reading it. At this point, you should know all this is not real. Oh, I probably should have figured that out after I poofed my apartment, or after a skeleton got up out of my closet and crawled into my bed. <laughs> the hints were there. I hope the inner awakening went well and you have a full, lucid control over the dream. Sincerely, yourself. Well, that's weird. So was the guy on the phone not completely crazy? Like, is my objective here to wake up? I don't actually know what I'm doing. Other than finding nothing here, I don't suppose there would be something down this dark, creepy hallway. I mean, other than, like, daylight, like, there could be anything back there, judging by the trends we've seen so far. It's too dark to see anything. Of course. Which means we're gonna need the flashlight, and for the flashlight, we're gonna need batteries. What else have we got on this floor? Uh, we've got a pipe room with a very big leaky pipe and a faucet that won't budge and a puddle. Not gonna lie, I kind of thought that my lucid dreams would have less pipes and more titties. Well, something tells me we're not gonna get any service in this dump, so I suppose we could just go downstairs and see if we can find ourselves a Jizz rag? It was, yeah, a piece of old cloth. It's <laughs> the kind of thing that I need after a lucid dream, not during it. The order is just all screwed up. This is completely unacceptable. I managed to find myself my lucky piece of coal. Just always important. I'm, I'm gonna need luck when it comes to cooking and something like this. Yeah, I don't think it's quite done yet. Maybe we'll give it another 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. I suppose we could always check. Not with this inferno inside. That's reasonable. Yeah, we don't want to let the heat out. Just give it a minute. <gasps> I, I never weigh them before putting them in. I just kind of eyeball it. I'm really bad for that. It needs a lever of some sort. Oh, you know what? I borrowed a lever earlier. Really? <laughs> All right, well, it's hopefully done by now. Marco! Yeah, you see, when it doesn't say polo, that's how you know it's done. All right. Ouch! This handle is hot as hell. Oh, that's what we need the jizz rag for. Okay, if I go and give it a bit of a dip... Make it nice and moist, then hopefully I should be able to use it here, and our little turkey boy will be free. I suddenly really don't want to go in here. <laughs> Please be done. Please be done. Please be done. I think I may have overdone it. Better to overdo it than underdo it. Hey, oh, I got a key. All right. Uh, and a very dirty wall. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? I'll clean it up when I'm done. Oh, I see now. There's a code back here. Okay, uh, four, one, six, zero? Is that what I'm seeing right now? Four, one, six, zero. Or maybe 4760. I'm, I'm gonna write that down. That seems important. Well, my little gibletted friend, I appreciate everything that you've done for me, and I'm gonna be on my way now. <gasps> I don't know what I need that code for. Like, where am I gonna put that in? That's all. Oh no, I got the key! 
Right, and that's actually important because we know that there is a locked drawer with the phone guy. So let's go ahead and get this. Shotgun shells? Oh, batteries, batteries are important. Okay, we got a working flashlight. Which means we can go down the dark, creepy hallway now. <laughs> it even echoes. Like, I just can't catch a break. Ugh. Yeah, I get it. I need to wake up, okay? There wouldn't be someone down here, would there? A little turkey boy roaming around. Marco! Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying to. Marco! That wasn't Polo! He did not say Polo! That's not how that works! What the Christ was that? <gasps> okay! I now have a golden statue and soiled underwear. Wonderful. An old scale. I use it to bludgeon whatever creepy little goblin thing that was. Yeah, I don't want to follow it. I want to go in here. What could it mean? I don't know. What could it say? I can't even read that. Uh, little Cody is lost without his... Plushy tiger. Uh, it's a horse. It's old and squeaky. All right then. Was that little Cody? Am I gonna bludgeon little Cody the next time he sneaks up on me? <laughs> uh, little Cody. Ooh. Okay. Uh, I don't think I want to go outside. I want to kind of look around. Okay. Okay. I mean, clearly a crazy person lives here, but well, he's out. Oh, thank Christ, I can actually read these. My daughter went to sleep and never woke up. It's a weird headline for a newspaper, but okay then. My son's personality has completely changed overnight. Again, these are like Facebook posts, not headline news. <laughs> Mayor's wife Possessed? Okay, yeah, that, that's a little better. Yeah, I, I can see that one working. A man kills his family after waking up from a coma. More of a BuzzFeed article, but sure, all right. You are next. It's time to pay a price for playing with things you don't comprehend. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really putting that together with anything. Anybody want to make me pay a price? No? Okay, then I'm gonna go outside. Weird. Uh, I can't reach there. Fair enough. What is this? Oh, oh, this is a place where you need a code. Okay, our code is 4160. <laughs> Thank you very much, Turkey Boy. All right. Do we, uh, seems to be locked. Okay. Oh. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Who puts a crank on a door? Is that important? It's not fully open yet. Why do you want it fully open? This is fishy. Yeah, now it's already opened and very dark. Very dark. Uh, flashlight? Okay. Hello? Marco! Them's the rules, means we're safe. Just gonna keep trudging along. Okay. Hey, I, I got a, a pickaxe. Let's just go Minecraft, I suppose. Hello. Oh, oh, no, bad, 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 bad. That's the bad, bad, that's the bad, bad, bad. Uh, <laughs> no, close, close. I knew this thing was here for a reason. Close faster, damn it. It doesn't know how to open doors, does it? I don't care. I'm getting out of here. It wasn't worth it for a pickaxe. I could have just crafted one myself. Sweet Jesus. Um. I got, uh, a hook. That, that's it. Why, why do I need, oh, I need a pickaxe for the wall. Okay, hold on, we're just gonna back it up, back it, back it on it, back it way up, we'll go back upstairs, we're backing it up. Over here, 
We should be able to get through this. Got a bunch of cracks. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can feel cold air from the other side. Okay. So we, we got out, so we just need to keep on. There we go. Okay, we, we just got to give it a couple of hits. And then, boom, Thanos, we're good. Right? Get on out. Ooh. Okay, that's weird. I found a net. I'd be able to use that to defend myself at some point. This is weird. The lighthouse. Why is it always the lighthouse? You. <laughs> Creepy painting. Yeah, that sounds about right. This thing dead? Or unfunctional? Non-operational? I don't want to use the D word. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't really think anything is going to work here. Unless it runs on golden statues, maybe? No, of course not. The only thing I can think of is this window, right? I can't reach there, but I've found so much stuff that I have to be able to use something. I still don't know about the coal or the golden statue or the box that I haven't bothered opening yet, despite the fact that I found a bunch of keys. That might be a mistake. I'm thinking maybe we can use the hook and the net like a ladder. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? You have to wake up. It was a recording. Weird. Oh, oh, and we got another key. Maybe I can use this key to open. Ah, a shiny gem. Maybe that's what we need for the lighthouse, and then the lighthouse would wake us up. Okay, looks somehow familiar. Does it? Just looks like a blob to me. I'm not exactly some kind of lighthouse biologist, but I'm pretty sure they work using light bulbs and not shiny gems. But that being said, I gotta try something. Yeah, what do I know? <laughs> Seems easy enough to work. I'm not 100% sure what I'm trying to guide, though. Maybe if I go back down to the shore, I can see something that needs light. Also, like... What is it about the people who live in and around lighthouses? Like, what is it about the lighthouse that instantly makes them weird, creepy freaks? I'm sorry? Um, they are blocking the way. I'm just gonna head back inside. I really love the lighthouse. I have to escape. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. This isn't happening. I have to wake up. Oh no, 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 no. Light, light, light is good. Light is great. Uh, no, light is good. Light is great. Come back, come back, come back, come back. There we go. And you can get Thanos snap too. <laughs> Hold your breath. I really don't want to breathe any of that in either. Are we good? And then, just like that, I woke up. Just that easy. <laughs> the nightmare was over, but my life has changed forever. Is it though? Was it all just a dream? Or were these creatures real? Creatures? I have to know. I just have to know the truth. I can't stop thinking about it. Come on, man. Lucid dreams, you could do so much better. Wait, what did that say? I was making a joke. Damn it! <laughs> Back to the deep sleep. <laughs> Why do I ruin everything? I don't think they were creatures. I'm pretty sure that was some kind of weird, like, dream cult. It seems like they can control people through their dreams, judging by all the headline papers that we found. That was really interesting. But you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Deep Sleep guys and he wasn't lying he is gonna go back because this is actually the deep sleep trilogy so if you guys want to see more as always be sure to leave a like in the video leave a comment letting me know and maybe i'll return for another subpar lucid dream but thanks so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time